Hi Capricorn, welcome to your May Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Capricorn, we're going to take a look at what's going on for you regarding love for the month of May. So let's see what's going on for me for you. Welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time for Capricorn. All right. Now you're going to see me placing some cards on the side here, Capricorn. I'll tell you, if you're new here, I'll tell you about those in just a second. So let's see what we have so far. We have just for a moment, joy. <laughs> so 46, which is 10. 10 is about, you know, full circle, completion, closure. Then there's always a new beginning. And then we have here, we have simplicity which is four. Four is a very stable, grounded number. We have a lot of green here, which can represent the heart chakra. What I'm feeling like here, Capricorn, is that maybe just for a moment, you know, you could have been in a relationship or a situation where it was very, very good at that time. Even if it was for a very brief, it could have been a day, it could have been a week, it could have been a month, whatever it was for you. But maybe, you know, other simplicity here, you know, maybe other things got in the way of this connection. Um, you know, people, places, things, work, career, finances, whatever here. But there's a need here to bring in more stable energy and to simplify lives, either your life, their life. So we can kind of bring the happiness and joy back in. I feel like in a way, you know, you got the light here. It's like you still kind of feel that connection towards this person, like your light still kind of draws back to each other. We have a lot of white over here too. That's kind of what I feel like. All right, Capricorn. Let's see. Let's get some more. Let's see what's going on for you, Capricorn. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take it how it resonates, if it resonates, leaving the rest behind, including the signs mentioned. Again, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And, um, you know, it may or may not resonate for everybody. And if it does, then it does. All right. Capricorn. Let's see. We have, we have the Horse King. Assistance and Control. We have 42, which is 6. Again, 6 is a very healing, balanced energy. And we have the Chess Queen. Trust, Strategizing. And we have 30. 30, which is 3. 3 is all about... Uh, teamwork, collaboration, compromise, working together, building together, you know, coming together in some way. I'm getting this around um, the chess queen. I don't think it was like king, queen, doesn't matter. We got a king and a queen here. <laughs> I just noticed that. So definitely two people that are probably meant to be together. But with this assistance and control, this is about knowing you don't need to control, someone doesn't need to control every little thing. They don't have to micromanage. They can ask for help, ask for assistance. That's okay. So maybe somebody here needs to simplify their life by getting help, assistance, whatever here. So they have more time for what they want. It could be the masculine energy. Um, so they can bring peace, harmony, and balance into their life. And they can actually do what they want, have what they would like to have in their life. And it could be that the feminine energy is thinking that, you know, may, well, maybe the masculine doesn't trust me or they have trust issues or should I trust them? Maybe they're just, you know, playing a game or, you know, strategizing um, or has an ulterior motive of some kind. But I really don't think it's that. I think this person uh, either just has a lot of responsibility in some way, shape or form and they just need some help or assistance or they need to delegate uh, responsibilities in some way. So they have more time for their queen. All right. Capricorn, let's see here. So the cards that you see me placing on the side over there, Capricorn, those are for your um, extended reading. So if this does resonate for you and you would like to go the extended reading, everything you need to know about that and, this, and me and my channel is down below. So you can check that out. All right. Okay. Oh, look at that. Mending Bridges. Let's get one more. Revealing Radiance. All right. Two for the extended. 
and I'll show you those uh, later. What we use, what we're going to use there for the extended. So we have here mending bridges. I heal rifts. I am a mender. So there's a chance here to bridge the gap between you for this to come back together. Mending, and you have like. I'm, I'm getting like mirroring image here, kind of like soulmate to inflame energy, but you're kind of not like seeing eye to eye or seeing things face to face at this time. And we have revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. So a lot of things to be revealed here, a lot of growth, expansion, treasure, happiness, joy with the pearl here, pearl of great prize. So there's still a lot to be had here. In this connection. All has not been revealed yet. All right. <clears throat> Capricorn, let's get into this. So I'm going to do a Celtic cross. So something a little bit different. So the first thing we're going to do here, Capricorn, is look at the present energy and what is influencing that. What is the present energy and what is influencing it? For Capricorn, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Way too many. <laughs> Or Capricorn. The Three of Cups. Yeah, about coming back together with the sun. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. So we have Leo here with the sun, but this is about reuniting and coming back together. There's only two people in this card. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. Peace, happiness, joy, luck, expansion, growth, victory, healing, enlightenment, happy home and family, children, so the current situation is about coming back together, reuniting. What's crossing it is needing to heal something in the dynamic here. To bring in this ultimate peace, happiness, joy, expansion. To bring in for a moment or a day or a week, month, whatever it was for you, that joy that you felt. You Or you both felt. How do we bring it back? How do we bring the joy back? All right, so let's take a look at what was... Um, in the past, a little more in the distant past. Let's see. Not too far in the distant, but. So we have the Knight of Swords. So something happened quickly here. You know, and it could have been, you know, someone did something foolish um, without thinking here with this Knight of Swords. I mean, it could be anything. This is usually the rebel or the troublemaker, or they do things without thinking that and they regret it later. It's Aquarius energy. Let's just clarify why that's here. What was this action? Some sort of regrettable action is what I feel. But what was that? Did something stupid or said something or did something? King of Cups. Maybe because they never expressed how they truly felt. King of Cups, Pisces here, is about, you know, someone do, does have love and emotions. You know, maybe someone said, I love you. I mean, it could have been you. And maybe they decided quickly here, no, I'm not going to say it back. I'm not going to go down that road. This love is moving forward too quickly for me. Because he's kind of looking away. And maybe it kind of scared them off. Yeah, so maybe they kind of five of swords sabotage this whole connection. So let's see what is um, in the recent past. What was in the recent past here for you, Capricorn? The two of wands. Does someone need to choose a path? What do you want? Do you want me or not? Do you want me or not? <laughs> do you love me or don't you? So needing to make a choice, choosing a path. So someone could have gave someone here an ultimatum saying, saying, you know, choose your path, choose your passion, choose your destination. It's either me or it's not me. Wow. So what are your thoughts about this whole thing? Capricorn, two of pentacles, time to be tired of being juggled, whether it's other people or just people, places, things, work, career, money, finances, situations, not making time for the connection, tying, tired, just tired of being juggled around, not knowing what's happening, what's going on, not making enough time is what I feel also. All right, so let's see what the future could be, Capricorn. What could the future be for Capricorn? Okay, 
Eight of Cups in reverse and the Fool in reverse. Oh my goodness. So it's like, <laughs> we've got Aquarius here with the Fool. The Eight of Cups, so in reverse, is about someone coming back or not, or it's not over yet. You know, might have left, but it's not over yet. Or somebody's definitely coming back. But the Fool is about not taking a risk or a leap of faith. So, I mean, the future energy is here. It's like, it's not over. You know, someone's going to return or, you know, not really walking away. But yet, we're not taking a new leap of faith either. We're kind of, kind of like stuck. It's like, oh my God. It's like, the fool would be okay. We're not starting over. But it's in reverse. So, well, the re reverse here would be not starting over. But the Eight of Cups is like, I'm not leaving either. So I feel a very stuck energy here. It's like, what, what, what do we want here for the, for the future? Are we over? Are we done? Are we going to take a new leap of faith? Are we going to heal? Are we going to come back together? Are you going to tell me you love me? Are you going to tell me you want me? Are you going to make time for me? Oh my goodness. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what your fears are. Let's see what your fears are. magician that this will manifest in the correct way because the magician here this is gemini virgo has all the tools has the wands for passion desire um you know go-getter enthusiastic energy pentacles for stability and loyalty cups for overflowing love and abundance and the sword for truth and clarity and honest communication so you're kind of fearing you know okay if this moves forward if we manifest this new beginning, is there going to be love, passion, stability, truth, clarity? Is it all going to be here? Definitely could have had uh, past lives with this person because we have the infinity symbol. Huh. Wow. So let's see here. Okay, I didn't ask yet what the outer influences are. Are there any outer influences in this situation for Capricorn? The King of Swords. Gemini energy. Again, somebody could be using, uh, could be overthinking this, using practicality, logic. You know, thinking, overthinking about this too much. Being a little defensive, on guard, on guard a little cold and icy. Hmm. I'm not really sensing any, because um, we got ear here, ear here. So you definitely could be. We've got two kings here. But let's just clarify. I'm feeling it's energy, but let's see. What is the King of Swords for? Okay, it's too many. For outer influences. The Four of Swords. Holding back and healing. Thinking, contemplating. Stuck in limbo because we got the uh, hangman here. I think someone is just overthinking. I'm feeling it's more energy. You could be definitely dealing with an air sign. Um, someone's just overthinking this whole thing and taking way too long to, um, they could be making up all kind of weird scenarios in their head. Um, also, mm, all right, so let's see what your hopes are. What are your hopes, Capricorn? What are the hopes for Capricorn strength that... Be resilient over this very strong connection that can't be broken. Bond. Uh, Leo energy here. Past lives together. That this bond won't be broken. That they are strong enough to overcome their fear, doubt, worry, anxiety, their over analytical mind. Um, that they will overcome that and see the light, I feel. Because we do have the light shining above our head there. They will step into their power. All right. So let's see what the outcome could be here for you, Capricorn. What could the outcome be here for Capricorn? For Capricorn. Seven of Swords. Oh boy, you're going to have to clarify that. Because that can be about lies, deceit, running out of fear, um, avoidance, being sneaky and getting out of something. Someone turning their back out of fear. Why is the Seven of Swords here? 
Four, and holding back still, holding back. Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Let's get one more. I think, you know, someone's still kind of holding back here and turning their back here. On this, oh my God, Soulmate, Twin Flame, Connection, Gemini. You definitely could be dealing with an air sign or Gemini, or they could have that heavy in their chart somewhere. They're like... <laughs> Like, they feel the connection, the Four of Pentacles. You feel it, you know, holding on but not letting go, but also holding back. So you constantly feel that connection. It's like you can't let go of it, and you can't hold back from it either. But turning the, their back on their soulmate twin flame here with the lovers. Again, I'm only seeing two people here. Gemini energy. Wow. Two people that are meant to be. I can see that. All right, so we're going to get a few more clarifies. If this does resonate for you, Virgo. Please, uh, Virgo, I'm sorry, Capricorn. I just did Cap, uh, Virgo. If I called you Virgo anytime during this, I'm sorry. I just did Virgo. Capricorn, <laughs> if this does resonate for you, please do give me a thumbs up. Be greatly appreciated. Leave me a comment. Oh, my gosh. And let me know how this resonates for you. So let's get a few more clarifiers. Before we go in the extended, and then I'll um, pull you those cards over there, show you what we're going to use in the extended. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to take that one. A few more clarifiers. Two, three, one more, four. All right. So I have the three of pentacles. So again, this three, again, is about teamwork, collaboration, coming together, building together, compromise. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. I'm telling you. This is a destined partnership. Two people that are meant to be together, a matching couple. There's still a lot of love here. How can we build together? Ten of Cups. Oh my goodness. Total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Building together to get to the Ten of Pentacles. And the Hangman, but still in limbo about that. Pisces Energy. Still, again, overthinking. I think they're overthinking way too much and running all kind of crazy scenarios in their head. Oh, well, this, you know, this could happen. That could happen. What if, what if, what if? Yeah, they just need to stop already. Because this is about, you know, re reflect, reflection, but also enlightenment perspective. And then we take action. It's just a minute. It's just a pause. It's a break. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's on the bottom here. The Eight of Wands. So, I mean... Somebody could be taking action here soon. Travel, action, communication. And here's my divine clarity from source with the Ace of Swords. Cutting away things no longer serving. Clear, clarity, truth, open conversations. Successful new beginning. My divine clarity from source that somebody could be taking action here or communicating at least. Capricorn. Wow. All right, so before we go into the extended, let's see. So we have distant shores, and I just did get this for Virgo. So if you're dealing with an air sign or maybe a fellow earth sign, maybe you want to watch that. Distant shores, seed of the heart, spiral dancer, and I think I got this for Capricorn also, uh, Virgo also. Sisters of the Seasons. Making a difference in rising above. All right, Capricorn. So if you'd like to go the extended, we'll look further into this to clarify some of the signs that we see uh, and see what's going to happen here. So again, everything's below. If you go, I shall see you there. If not, um, wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and I shall see you next time.